Astronomers have recently traced a mysterious fast radio burst, FRB, to an ancient dead galaxy, challenging existing theories about these enigmatic cosmic phenomena. FRBs are extremely powerful flashes of radio waves that last only milliseconds. They are believed to originate from the intense magnetic fields of magnetars, a type of highly magnetized neutron star. However, the precise mechanisms behind their occurrence remain largely unknown. Most FRBs have been detected originating from galaxies outside our Milky Way, with a few local instances confirming neutron stars as their source. A key revelation came from the study of repeating FRBs, which ruled out catastrophic events like supernovae as the sole cause. The recent discovery of FRB 20240209A, first detected by the CHIME radio telescope in February 2024, provided valuable new insights. RB 20240209A is a repeating burst that was observed 21 times between February and June 2024. A smaller companion observatory located 60 kilometers away was able to capture six of these bursts, enabling astronomers to pinpoint its origin to a galaxy two billion light years away. What makes this discovery particularly intriguing is the location and age of the host galaxy. Unlike most FRBs that are found in the central star-forming regions of galaxies, this burst was traced to the outskirts of an ancient elliptical galaxy that is more than 11 billion years old. This is unexpected because neutron stars typically form from the explosive deaths of massive stars, which have relatively short lifespans. The presence of an FRB in such an old, inactive galaxy suggests that the neutron star responsible for it must also be ancient. This finding challenges the prevailing belief that FRBs are primarily produced by young magnetars experiencing magnetic flares. Since neutron stars gradually cool and become less active over time, it was previously thought that older neutron stars could not generate such energetic bursts one possible explanation is that the FRB might have originated not within the galaxy itself, but in a dense globular cluster orbiting its edge. Globular clusters, which are collections of old stars, are known to host frequent stellar mergers. A plausible scenario is that two magnetars within the cluster merged, triggering the powerful bursts of radio waves observed. <sighs> While the exact nature of this event remains uncertain, this discovery has expanded our understanding of the diverse astrophysical processes that can produce FRBs. Further observations and studies will be crucial to determine whether merging magnetars or other mechanisms are responsible for such occurrences in aged galaxies. This revelation opens up new avenues for exploring the life cycles of neutron stars and the complex environments in which FRBs arise, reshaping our comprehension of these extraordinary cosmic events. Fast radio bursts, FRBs, are among the most perplexing phenomena in modern astrophysics. These intense pulses of radio waves last only milliseconds, but carry an immense amount of energy, equivalent to what the sun emits in days. Initially detected in 2007, FRBs have intrigued scientists due to their unknown origins and unusual properties. While some FRBs occur as isolated events, others repeat at irregular intervals, suggesting multiple possible mechanisms. The leading hypothesis attributes FRBs to magnetars, extremely dense, highly magnetized neutron stars formed from the remnants of supernova explosions. However, recent discoveries challenge this idea by tracing an FRB to an ancient galaxy that has long ceased producing new stars, forcing astronomers to reconsider how and where FRBs can form. In 2024, the CHIME telescope detected a repeating FRB, FRB 20240209A, from an ancient elliptical galaxy over 11 billion years old raising questions about whether old neutron stars can still produce such energetic bursts. FRBs are like cosmic lightning bolts, brief yet powerful, illuminating the universe in unpredictable ways and leaving scientists scrambling to understand their origins. 
Magnetars, a type of neutron star with an extremely powerful magnetic field, trillions of times stronger than Earth's, are the prime suspects in generating FRBs. These stars are thought to form when massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel and explode in a supernova, leaving behind a dense core that generates bursts of energy through magnetic field realignments. Um, traditionally, it was believed that magnetars were relatively young, remaining active only for a few thousand years before cooling down. However, the discovery of FRB 20240209A in an ancient inactive galaxy suggests that old magnetars can still produce FRBs. This challenges our understanding of their life cycles and implies that other unknown processes might sustain their activity for billions of years. Observations of galactic FRBs from young supernova remnants support the magnetar theory, but the latest discovery suggests alternative explanations such as stellar mergers or interactions in dense environments. If a typical neutron star is like a burned out light bulb, a magnetar is like an overcharged battery that occasionally sparks even after it should have run out of energy. The recent detection of an FRB originating from an 11 billion year old elliptical galaxy presents a significant challenge to the prevailing understanding of FRBs. Elliptical galaxies are typically devoid of young, massive stars, the precursors of neutron stars, suggesting that any remaining neutron stars within them must be ancient relics from a much earlier period of star formation. This raises the question of how such an old neutron star could still emit powerful radio bursts. Astronomers speculate that interactions within dense stellar environments, such as globular clusters orbiting the galaxy's outskirts, could trigger these bursts through mechanisms like binary mergers or accretion-induced magnetic realignments. Globular clusters, which host dense populations of aging stars, could provide the necessary conditions for neutron star interactions, leading to sporadic bursts of radio waves. Finding an FRB in an old galaxy is like discovering an active volcano in a region thought to be geologically extinct, indicating hidden forces at work beneath the surface. Tracing the origin of FRBs requires sophisticated observational techniques that combine large radio telescopes with high-resolution imaging. The Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment played a crucial role in detecting FRB 20240209A, while follow-up observations using ground-based optical and radio telescopes helped pinpoint its host galaxy. Uh, by analyzing the dispersion measure, the delay caused by interstellar electrons, astronomers can estimate the distance to an FRB's source. Additionally, using multiple observatories spaced apart allows for triangulation, improving localization accuracy. This multi-wavelength approach provides critical insights into the physical environments surrounding FRBs, offering clues about their progenitors. In 2024, a network of observatories confirmed the exact location of an FRB by comparing time delays between signals received at different stations. Locating an FRB is like tracking a thunderstorm by listening to how long it takes for the sound to reach different observers, allowing scientists to determine its origin with precision. While magnetars remain the leading explanation, the discovery of an FRB in an ancient galaxy necessitates alternative theories. One possibility is that the burst originated from a binary neutron star merger where two neutron stars spiraled together over billions of years before colliding, releasing an intense burst of radio waves. Another hypothesis suggests interactions within a dense globular cluster, where gravitational interactions might lead to magnetar reactivation or accretion-driven energy release. Additionally, exotic astrophysical phenomena such as black hole interactions or axion-like particles have been proposed to explain the diversity in FRB characteristics. Some FRBs exhibit dispersion patterns inconsistent with neutron stars, hinting at more exotic explanations like dark matter interactions. 
Exploring FRB origins is like trying to determine whether a fire was caused by lightning, spontaneous combustion, or human activity. Each possibility requires different evidence. The detection of FRBs in distant ancient galaxies opens up new avenues for studying the universe. Because FRBs travel across billions of light years, they carry valuable information about the intergalactic medium, allowing astronomers to probe cosmic structures, dark matter distributions, and magnetic fields across vast cosmic distances. Additionally, the existence of FRBs in old galaxies suggests that neutron stars might remain active for much longer than previously thought, altering models of stellar evolution and galactic life cycle. By analyzing FRB signals, scientists can estimate the density of cosmic plasma and better understand how matter is distributed across the universe. FRBs are like cosmic postcards, carrying messages about their journey through space and the environments they pass through. Recent technological advancements have significantly improved our ability to detect and analyze FRBs. Radio telescopes with wide field capabilities, such as CHIME and the Square Kilometer Array, SKA, can scan large portions of the sky simultaneously, capturing hundreds of FRBs in real time. Machine learning algorithms are now being used to automatically sift through vast data sets to identify FRB signals and distinguish them from terrestrial interference. Future missions may include space-based radio telescopes that could further enhance localization accuracy and provide clear insights into the origins of these mysterious bursts. The use of AI in radio astronomy has led to the discovery of previously undetectable faint and fast signals from distant galaxies. Advanced radio telescopes act like high-powered listening devices capable of hearing faint whispers from across the cosmos. <laughs> the future of FRB research holds exciting prospects, with planned observatories expected to detect thousands of new bursts annually. Scientists aim to develop models that can accurately predict and classify different types of FRBs, improving our understanding of their physical mechanisms. Collaborative efforts between ground and space-based telescopes will offer unprecedented insights into these enigmatic signals, potentially unlocking new astrophysical phenomena. Additionally, efforts to engage citizen scientists in FRB data analysis could democratize scientific discoveries and accelerate progress. The upcoming Square Kilometer Array is expected to provide unparalleled data on FRBs, revolutionizing our understanding of these cosmic events. The future of FRB research is like assembling a giant cosmic jigsaw puzzle. Each new discovery brings us closer to seeing the full picture. And that said, you should probably know that while recent discoveries have provided critical insights into FRBs, they have also raised new questions about the nature and lifespan of magnetars and neutron stars. The finding that old galaxies can still host FRBs suggests a more diverse set of formation mechanisms than previously believed. Continued observation, technological innovation, and theoretical modeling will be crucial in solving the mystery of these fleeting yet powerful cosmic signals. Um, ongoing studies of repeating FRBs will help determine whether they share common origins or arise from multiple distinct processes. FRBs remain the universe's unsolved riddles, requiring scientists to piece together clues scattered across space and time.